the first day of school for an Orange County boy named Joe was not only an exciting day for him, it's a milestone his mother was not sure he'd ever make. For months, Joe's been recovering from a brain aneurysm. CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports today, Joe started kindergarten. You going to kindergarten today? Yeah. It's a day Anne Marie Federico has been dreading the first day her five year old son Joe started school. My first baby's going to kindergarten, so it's always a little bit. <laughs> It's a little bit heartbreaking that this time has gone so fast. It's also a moment that 16 months ago she wasn't sure she would see. One second her healthy son was dancing on the couch, the next. He uh, suffered a, a ruptured brain aneurysm, which um, led to a severe brain bleed um, and some subsequent surgeries and uh, almost a fatality. After numerous surgeries, including the removal and replacement of 40% of his skull, doctors saved his life. Cadaver skin was added to his skull so his swollen brain could recover, but that was only the beginning. Couldn't sit up, he couldn't walk, speak, he was almost completely paralyzed, he couldn't eat. The five-year-old was transferred to Blightdale Children's Hospital in Valhalla for rehab, where medical professionals taught him to walk, talk, and eat again, and on Wednesday... Because today's a special day, it's the first day of school. First day! He started his first day of school at the medical center. To say he was eager is an understatement. When my mom room, totally immediately so excited, ate breakfast, brushed my teeth, put my shoes on, and then... And then I was out the door. Blythedale Children's Hospital is the only hospital in the state that has a public school on site. You got to press play with your finger. So kids like Joe can learn in a classroom setting while they continue their rehab. He has made such, such strides since he was an inpatient here that we could only maximize what he's doing now and what you see. This five-year-old proving you can start school while remaining resilient. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. There are 140 children at school with Joe. His parents have to travel an hour each direction to get to the Mount Pleasant Blythedale School, but they say it is worth it. And those pictures of Joe's happiness today certainly prove that.